If you notice, trading account is an account. It is a final account. So we have the trading account is actually prepared through certain what is called closing entries. All our nominal accounts, income and expense account need to be closed at the year end. The purchases and direct cost, these accounts are closed by transfer to trading account. Sales account also closed by transfer to trading account. So what are the entries? Entries is exactly, we have already prepared the ledger account. I am explaining now the accounting entries behind the trading account. Trading account debit to opening stock. That is why we had opening stock on the T side. Two purchases, two wages, two carriage inward, two other direct costs. Two sales return. Only we don't normally debit the trading account with the sales return. Instead, we show it as a deduction from sales so that we know the net sales. <clears throat> Similarly, sales account debited, purchase return account debited, abnormal loss account debited, closing stock account debited, goods in transit if any account debited, true trading account. So what comes on the credit side of the trading account? Sales comes on the credit side of the trading account. Purchase return is actually shown as a deduction from purchases, not, not shown, not debited, so that this is at one glance, we understand exactly how much is the net purchases. Abnormal loss of goods, why is it? Abnormal loss of goods, this account and the closing stock account are two accounts which are created at this point in time. These two accounts are created. This is created at the time of preparation of the trading account. They don't really appear in the trial balance. We don't have an account for it. <clears throat> Goods in transit also. This also at the time of preparation of the trading account, we value, we count physically the amount of stock. We see how much was the abnormal loss of goods. We again see if there is any goods in transit. And then we create one, two, three accounts, debit the account and credit it to trading account. Why is it being credited to the trading account? Because these, these goods are all included in the purchase cost. But actually, these are not goods that we could sell during the year. To ascertain gross profit, sales has to be compared with the exact number of units with the purchase cost of the units which are sold. So if we have 10,000 units sold, in order to get the gross profit, we must compare the cost of 10,000 units. <clears throat> it would not be right to compare the cost of 12,000 units with the cost of 10,000 units sold because 2,000 units might have been lost by fire. <clears throat> So what are the closing entries? Trading account is debited. Trading account debit to opening stock. If I prepare as we had seen before, trading account is debited to opening stock, to purchases, to all direct costs, whether it's wages, carriage inward, other direct costs. And as I said, we don't say to sales return, but then here we have by sales. Sales account debit. So how the sales account, the ledger account, sales account, it is an income account. It has a credit balance. It's closed by debiting the sales account and transferring it to trade account. Here we have less purchase return and here we have less sales return. Instead of taking sales return to the debit side, instead of taking purchase return to the credit side of the trading account, purchase return is shown as a deduction from purchases and sales return is shown as a deduction from sales. <clears throat> and by closing stock, by abnormal loss, if any, by goods in transit, the net result is gross profit as we had seen before. 
this gross profit is transferred to profit and loss account transferred to profit and loss account so trading account debit to profit and loss account with the amount of gross profit or profit and loss account debit to trading account with the amount of gross loss with the amount of gross loss